With the Jefferson Airplane, he was a godfather of the San Francisco sound in the 60s. Paul Kantner died yesterday. He was 74. Kantner was born in San Francisco on March 17, 1941. It was 1965 after a meeting with singer Marty Ballon that Kantner got the idea to form a folk rock band that really had something to say. It was their sophomore album that would solidify the band as a true voice of the psychedelic movement. Featuring new lead singer Grace Slick, who replaced Sidney Anderson, Surrealistic Pillow, along with The Doors' debut album and Sgt. Pepper's by The Beatles, became the three most influential albums of the Summer of Love in 1967. The LP had two top ten hits sung by Slick, the Lewis Carroll Alice in Wonderland inspired White Rabbit, some say her other muse was listening to Miles Davis while on LSD, and Somebody Love that championed monogamy of all things in San Francisco. It was almost a protest song against free love. When concert promoter Bill Graham opened the Fillmore in San Francisco in 1968, the Jefferson Airplane along with the Grateful Dead became one of the first headlining bands. Kantner would often say that the Bay Area was so rich in new culture that it was sometimes difficult to go outside the West Coast to tour. In 1969, Kantner and Jefferson Airplane went to Woodstock. Their performance is still considered one of the best that weekend. In the mid-70s, Kantner, Slick, and Ballon formed Jefferson's Starship, and like the airplane, it was their sophomore album, Red Octopus, that was their biggie. They got their first number one album on Billboard, and the two Miracles made it to number one in the summer of 1975. Kantner was sued many times for using the band's trademark name, which he gave up legally. It was also known as one of those easy interviews, honest interviews, where he would tell it the way it was. In 1996, Kantner was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame as a founding member of Jefferson Airplane. He once said, if you want to go crazy, go crazy in San Francisco. Nobody will notice. He died of multiple organ failure and septic shock. Kantner had a string of health problems in the last few years, but he still toured. Rest in peace. I'm John Bowden.